What's going on everybody, Josh Polcock here. And in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can use Cursor Composer with Vercel's V0 AI Component Generator. Now this will work for the free version of both tools. I'm personally using the paid version of Cursor, but I'm using the free version of V0. I'm gonna show you how you can build beautiful components, which is based on the Shad CN UI library. Let's dive right into it. All right, so if you're not familiar with V0, then I'll go over it briefly in this video. I've covered it before, so I'll leave links to my V0 video down below too if you want to see more in-depth on that, as well as I covered Cursor and many other videos. I'll leave a couple links to some of those videos down below as well. Now, um, if you're not familiar with Cursor, I don't know if you know, maybe I've been living under a rock, but everyone in the AI space and the coding space have been talking about it every other uh, YouTube video or Twitter uh, tweet on X is about cursor and building cool things with it essentially just to sum it up real quick as of now you can pretty much code uh, to some extent with natural language you can build things 100% without knowing how uh, that much about coding and development um, if you're building like production scale apps or like full scale end-to-end -end apps it can be a little bit more complicated it's good if you do have some sort of uh you know knowledge in terms of coding and and whatnot but uh first things first let's just dive right into it so go to cursor if you haven't already download it um make an account and if you want you can buy it for 20 bucks a month um the reason i'm using the paid version is simply just because the cursor compose feature is in my opinion it is unlike anything else when it comes to coding the dev experience is just amazing in my opinion and I'll show you that in just a second. I did a whole video on Cursor Composer. And Vercel V0, um, it is top notch when it comes to building out components. It is insane. And you can actually just use the free version. Pay version may give you, uh, it says it gives you higher rate limits. I never even uh, hit a rate limit yet to this day. And I've used it quite extensively. So there is that. And then I always sometimes, you know, just, I mean, we are going to be using Cursor, but sometimes I will use Claude sonnet within the claude panel if i do need to do some adjustments but we can actually just do that all within cursor so i'm just letting you know on our setup and as a side note guys if you are looking for a free open source alternative for cursor i did a video the other day and a couple days ago on zed ai so there is a free alternative there now quickly before we get into building out the components um, as you can see cursor v0 there is so many people talking about it on twitter uh, cursor just in general and then v0 as well too people are building out really cool things some people are building out end-to-end -end applications and now is the easiest time to actually build things and it's going to get easier and easier like this is really just a start so um yeah i've been learning a lot of different stuff off of uh you know some things people are on posting on twitter some things on youtube so i'll be continuously sharing that with you guys um here so if you're new to the channel make sure to smash that like button smash that subscribe button to stay up to date with the daily uploads so first things first we're going to open up a new cursor project okay so here is our cursor project and i mentioned in one of my videos before um i got um basically from someone on twitter i saw him and i've been using this for a while too but in terms of just using it within cursor um uh basically it's a good idea to create a prompts folder now within the prompts folder you can do different things you can have like your docs um for different tools you're using whether that's um you know super base whether that's authentication docs whether that is drizzle whether that is um trpc whatever different tools you're using within your application it is a smart idea to include some sort of documentation within there okay you can literally just copy and paste it mark put it in a markdown from their specific site what for the main docs that pertain to your app um also to in future once you kind of get a good standard operating procedure you could create your own um sort of standard operating procedure for how you like to set up your app how you like to set up your back end and then put those in specific markdown files and then when you're in the cursor composer which is right here just to access it you're going to click Control i it's going to open up the small version but to ac access the big one you could either um hit this button here to open the control panel or you could click Control shift i to open the big uh, compo uh po composer control panel okay now i'm not going to cover every nitty-gritty thing within composer you can create projects or can sing single composers but uh what you're going to do is as you can see i'm already referencing the v0 
uh, markdown file and i'll leave a link in the description below so you can get this this is basically just the v0 instructions prompt so follow these instructions to use v0 think carefully about the component generate a prompt then write the prompt create a clickable link using component name right here for the prompt and it's creating a link so i'll show you this in just a second in action and make sure the prompt is url encoded okay so um you could technically use this within without a uh, composer you could go control l and you could do the same thing right here on the right hand side in cursor chat um now just a side note guys i always recommend using claude sonnet 3.5 at the time of recording this video this is the most up-to-date uh top-notch coding model in the that we have access to publicly as of now so let's go ahead and just say um open up cursor cursor composer and say i want oops yeah so i want a component for a very modern dashboard time tracking app it should have multiple modules tracking different time tracking metrics okay we'll just keep it basic for now even though that is somewhat more of a a little bit more of a complex thing so here i'm not going to read through the whole prompt but we'll kind of skim through here's a modern dashboard tracking component with multiple modules uh so one we want a circular progress chart showing today's track time versus goal um all this good stuff so we can see this prompt right here and then it's going to give us a clickable link so let's go ahead and click this link we're going to open and it is going to bring us directly into a v0 chat with this specific prompt typed out and already sent really cool guys right so this is going to if you're not familiar with v0 it's doing its magic right now it's essentially uh, this is by Vercel, so like basically one of the biggest um, hosting platforms, uh, biggest for Next.js. They created Next.js, and as you can see here, guys, this is building out the time tracking app uh, dashboard, and we got today's progress, weekly project breakdown, monthly activity, and guys, this is a lot better than doing it with um, something like Claude Sonnet uh, Artifacts, because in V0 Artifacts, it actually will basically within the code as you can see we're doing imports like react use state um read charts imports like all these different imports are actually being rendered if i was to try to put this code into a uh, cloud artifacts um artifact it wouldn't render properly it said it would say it wouldn't have access to those um specific libraries or those specific imports as you can see there's a few issues here like we don't like this big text and these blocks here you can see a start timer function a projects thing so we're going to say um, we could actually go ahead and start improving upon this and say, okay, so I said the monthly activity has uh, a huge May text, make it leg legible and uh, add some something uh, beside today's progress, like maybe a team overview of the company's staff time, make it more modern and look like a Fortune 500 company app, make the colors sty and styling really pop and make it so that I can add some time slots to track activity or uh, for activities to track. Also make it in all in dark mode. And as you can see, guys, it actually completely messed it up. And typically what my workflow would look like is I will usually get a base with V0. And then what I will do is inter I, I personally find that uh, iterating within V0 can work sometimes. So I would try it sometimes. But if you're not getting the right results with it, then I would iterate it within either Claude or within um, within Cursor, right? Because Cursor, of course, you can access Claude. But I just said, hey, revert back to um, make it look uh, light mode, actually, and have only a couple colors and remove all the weird coloring. Right? So we're just going to get a basic scheme right here for what we want. OK, so at least the monthly activity has been fixed and you can see the re recent entries right here. All right, guys, so I'm actually a lot more uh, content with this. This looks a lot more, uh, a lot better for sure. I like the colors. I like the scheme, etc. cetera. Um, now we're just going to actually grab this so you could download it you could fork it you could publish it so um i believe yeah if you publish it actually no it's going to just oh so you could actually install this so this is actually really cool All right, guys so you could just copy this over into a component file so i'm just for the sake of this video just dashboard.txs but um what you would want to do of course is install next.js or whatever react uh you know library or react framework you're using um and then you could actually just go to shad cn and go to installation xjs and follow this as well as you could also just go over here to uh, v0 go to install and you can install the component directly with this command as well as it would also install the shadzian aka nextjs 
actually S uh, app for you. So pretty simple guys. Then what I would do is I would um, NPM run dev to launch your um, you know local version of the app and to pull it up. And then when you're looking at the, app, uh, the components that you've rendered into your app, um, what I would do is start making edits within cursor. So I could go here. Uh, I could add the dashboard file file like so to context. I could either do it here or do it within our um, within our composer over here. Go to a new composer, add dashboard, and say, please make this more blank, blank, blank. Make those iterations allow for composer to make those changes, approve them, and then you would be able to see on the your you know other side of your screen or wherever you have your local host three thousand. You could see those changes being made that component you could start iterating it that way as well as like i said before you could do it in claude but you could also use uh sonic um claude or cursor as well so that's how i would do it i would use those two if it's like a small change you want to save some credits not use the api you could do it within claude sonnet but then if you want that nice dev experience using claude uh using cursor composer do the changes within uh cursor and then make those changes there so that's how you can use cursor uh composer with v0 and you're going to get a really nice um, dev experience for creating these nice UI components on the fly very quickly. So if you want me to make more videos showing you how to maybe build out a, a sample project or certain things like this, let me know in the comments down below, guys. Let me know if there's any other topics you want me to cover or videos, tools, whatever the case may be. Other than that, guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure to smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. We upload videos every single day on AI, automation, coding, business growth, development, all that good stuff. So um yeah also too guys if you haven't already joined our free community strikecommunity.com uh it's our free facebook group free discord channel you can check that out network with like-minded individuals as well as myself as well as there'll be extra free resources in those channels as well other than that guys i will see you in tomorrow's video keep hustling keep grinding and of course guys accelerate your stride also we just hit 5,000 subscribers so thank you for all the recent support guys i will see you in tomorrow's video take care